Hi guys, Simes here, and uh, it's time for another tutorial. And uh, with update 1.1 just landing, yeah, lots to talk about. But right now, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the uh, loop editing function. And uh, it's still a learning process because it's only just arrived on us. Um, but yeah, starting to figure it out and what to do with it. So I thought I'd share what little knowledge I've got, or I've accumulated over the last few days. But um, yeah, bear with me. It's 30 degrees outside. I've turned my fan off. So if I go silent, it's because I've passed out. Leave me here. Save yourselves. Right, so um, let's get straight into it because we don't want to be here for too long. Uh, we'll try and get this to like six minutes at least. Yeah, <laughs> good effort with that. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, try and put a beat on this bit of elevator music I've created here. Um, and we're going to use the loop editor to do it. Now, obviously, what I'd like to say to you is the loop editor is good for editing things you're not happy with, you should always, by default, try and play it live, okay? Because you have the ability to do that with Virtuoso, and that's what stands out uh, against other doors, so you actually play the instrument. But, you know, if you can't quite get it, and uh, or you're new to it, and you want to use the loop editor, then go for it. So, um, yeah, let's do just that. Let's just go for it. So, let's take this. Okay, so we're going to uh, create a, a beat and we're going to start with a kick drum. Now I'm going to put it on one, one bar, okay, and then let's just hit this. And there it is, just on one. I'm going to add a group here, put it over here and put my kick drum into it. Not the most exciting kick drum in the world. So let's go into the edit function, it's right here, just there press that and then this graph uh, appears with all these little functions and stuff on it. So let me talk to you about what these functions do. There's four main ones here. You've got the first one which is called move but I think of it as position. This is the position of your sound within your loop. At no time during these uh, editing functions are you adjusting the sound itself. Okay, yes, on here, the volume, you're adjusting the volume of the sound, but you're not actually recreating any part of the sound or, or, or clipping any part of the sound, you're just uh, adjusting the volume of that sound. So, um, with that in mind, what does the position do? Let's just run through what they are first. So, you have the position of the sound within the loop. Okay, it's set by default to free, but you can move it over. Because we've done a one bar loop, Okay, you can see that these are all the quarters here. One, two, three, four quarters for beats. Okay, so I can move it over here to be in the second position. So if I move it back, it's just at the top. Plays at the top, bang, bang. So if I move it over, it's now gonna play in the second position there. And then in the half position. And then in the three quarters position. There, so you have moved it along that loop okay and your loop is one bar in this positioning tab you can't adjust your length of your loop just the position of your sound within that loop then obviously you can go to eights and you can sort of so it's in the middle here somewhere there yeah halfway between the first and second positions into second position there two and a half and three so that will make sense and you can go right up to 16 if you're feeling really funky more percussion than anything really if you do working with the beat. So we're gonna put that back on four. So we've got our four quarters there. Which brings me to the second part, which is the most important part of all of these, which is the trim. Now you'll see the number one there. That refers to the fact that you're at one loop, okay? Trim is a little bit deceptive uh, because yes, you can trim the length of your loop, but you can also lengthen your loop. So it's not so much a trim and a pair of scissors, it's, it's more of length and a ruler here. Um, why, would you, why would you want to increase the size? Okay, so bear in mind I've got my sound sat at, up here in my one loop. Okay, now I want to reduce the size of that loop to a quarter. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to take that from three to a quarter there. And I'm going to reduce it and watch that number change. I've now reduced it to three quarters. That loop now runs to there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to a half. So now it's at the top and bottom. Bang, bang. I've reduced the size of the loop. So it's repeating itself now every half bar. And now I'm going to, and that's the half here. 
and now I'm going to reduce it to a quarter. There, 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 there. So that's what the length does. It doesn't affect the sound, it affects the loop, and it affects how often that loop repeats itself. Okay, so now we've got our beat. That's what I want, just like that. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so now I want to put a, a clap on there. So we'll do the same, keep it at one. What I forgot to tell you, actually, let me delete that, is if you click this plus button here, it'll record directly into this group and not into the loop stack there. So let's do it again. See, straight into it. There's a time saver and space saver. So we're gonna go edit. So where do we wanna to wanna to put this clap? At the moment it starts. So if I stop this group, and start it, it should start straight away. I don't want that. I want it to start on the on the uh, on the half. So I'm going to reposition it to the half. Oh, take it off free. That's just for minor adjustments. Bang, bang. Okay. So if I stop that and start, it shouldn't come in until it gets to the bottom. Let's do it. There we go. Bang, bang. So I've repositioned that now to there. Could even try and reposition it maybe slightly offbeat so it's doing on the quarter quite like that let's leave it like that okay now simple plus is on let's do an open high hat I want to do, I want to uh, repeat it. So I'm going to reduce the length from one. Let's try a half. See these presets down here, descending, rising, different curves. You can reverse it. Let's go that way. But I want to do something a little bit more jazzy. You hear it vibrating. So we got that. So let's do another simple. Let's do a closed hi hat. I feel like I want to dance. Right. So okay. So we've got this sat in there, and I've got to want to reduce that because I want it on every sixteenth. Okay. So I'm happy with the position. So I'm going to go to loop length, and I'm going to reduce that. Take it off three, and I'll put it onto quarter. Okay. And I'm going to reduce that all the way down to twenty-five. So that's now on every eight. I want to go to 16, so I'm going to take that again and go down another one. And there we go. That's now on every 16, it's just for me recording on the one bar. Right, so now I want to adjust the volume of this so it oscillates. There you go. Just play with it. I'm happy with that. So now we have a beat. Just using the, uh, the editing. So I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm mindful I don't want this to be too long. I am going to delete our kick drum. And I'm going to do this again. 
what I'm gonna do put it on the one okay and edit it so now I've got the four beats already in there you see I've got slightly less volume on that one but that's fine but what you can do is you can take your volume Take one out completely. Just paint it out. It's gone. And there you've got character. And you can do the same. Uh, let's do another one. So we've got that there. Let's do one more. So I've got him here on his own. If I go to my drum section up here. Oh, where am I? Here, because I've painted this out. Now let's see what I can do about putting something back in there. I'm going to reposition this. See, now I've put it back in there. And if I stop these, stop these two, and then merge. created this one which I'm going to put back in here and we edit it and you see the beats back in okay and that's good so you can blank things out and then you can put runs and bridges in the position by lengthening a loop and tagging them on the end and doing things like that so that is roughly a very very simple guide on what to do with the the, the loop editing as you know it's something that we're all still learning uh, there's lots of possibilities. Um, I definitely see possibilities about creating a timeline by taking uh, a, a loop and increasing the length to like 32 bars. Um, don't really want to go much more than that because of the, the headset memory and stuff. Uh, and then literally just merging things into it and creating a timeline, a successive timeline of, of your loops. Uh, and I, that's something I'm going to start playing with over the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah. A beat made purely with the editor. So have fun, be creative, try and stay cool. <laughs>